Did you know that 92% of companies are spending more on data science, but only 12% are deploying it effectively? We need a better way to invest in AI and machine learning. It's like the old days of the computer industry where enthusiasts build computers from kits. Imagine if 92% of the people buying computers wasted 90% of their time and money building laptops from scratch. That's what's happening with data science today. For every million dollars, as much as 900,000 is spent building AI with kits, not using it. We're wasting money tinkering around with the soldering iron instead of just getting work done. A new approach to model operationalization helps you just buy the computer, install the software, and go. Here's how it works. First, we start where data science creation ends. Data scientists pass the AI baton or algorithm after they're done. Any model built with any language or even any proven pre-packaged, pre-trained algorithm that a trusted partner already built. Next, we separate the detail of how the algorithm works from its intended behavior and its data. Low-code, no-code tools do this job. They build a bridge between scientists and business teams and help teams select, screen, and evaluate algorithms, and data engineers connect the data to them. This yields fully vetted, governed pipelines, like installed apps on your operating system that get deployed into the self-service analytics universe. This collaborative process lets everyone install AI and get to work. It's built for all, domain experts, analysts, business users, data engineers, and IT, and data scientists. Once vetted, now you deploy data science anywhere. We call it multimodal deployment. You inject AI directly into business intelligence dashboards, existing apps, your enterprise data fabric, and MDM tools for smart data classification and matching, or even into real-time streaming systems. For example, here's one-click access to model ops from Spotfire's visual analytics tool. You simply drag and drop approved deployed pipelines onto the dashboard and you're off. Now you might be thinking, well, I already dropped Python or R code into my BI tool all on my own. Don't do this. Not only are you building your own kick computer from scratch that might not work, but you're creating two unintended side effects with AI. First, random acts of AI create a self-service Wild West in firms. Important decisions become buried deep in the IT infrastructure. Python use is becoming the Microsoft Excel macro of yesterday. Unpredictable, unseeable, and unmanageable. Second, with the increasing use of AI, we have to manage algorithmic risk and bias. And as Pulitzer Prize-winning psychologist Daniel Kahneman describes in his latest book, Noise, the best way to spot bias in algorithms is to have other people identify it. You can't just leave it to the data science team to figure out. Next generation model ops tools build a bridge between science and human creativity and understanding. This in turn makes AI less biased more effective and safe. This is why we call this new operating system for data science the new OS for AI. So you can put away the soldering iron and start using AI effectively. We think this different approach is so important we wrote a book about it with O'Reilly, which you can download in the comments below. Or to learn even more and see it in action, visit www.tipco.com slash monolops.